Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft had a busy week last week in the Windows 11 Insider program and um, have also now rolled out a Insider preview build for the insiders in the Dev Channel. Build 23435, which was made available on the 14th of April. So just a quick video, once again, if you are interested, to have a look at up-and-coming new features uh, that could make their way eventually to the stable version. So what's new in Build 23435? First of all, we get the gallery in the File Explorer, and I actually have posted on this uh, previously, and is now being tested uh, in the Dev Channel. Now, what this is all about is the gallery in the File Explorer is a new feature um, designed to make it easy to access your photo collection, as you can see. And um, the content shown in gallery uh, is the same as what you'll see in the All Photos view in the Photos app. So it looks like Microsoft is basically integrating uh, the Photos view directly into the File Explorer and calling that gallery now. Now, um, just a bit of more info regarding this. Um, it's optimized for accessing your most recently taken photos according to Microsoft. And if you have OneDrive, a camera, camera roll backup set up on your phone, photos you take will show up automatically at the top um, of the view. And you can also choose which folders are shown in gallery through the collection dropdown. And you can also add subfolders of existing sources to filter to a subset of your content according to Microsoft from the uh, release notes. And then moving on to the next regarding a gallery. Um, this is a file picking dialog. And um, it also works uh, from the file picking dialog with Microsoft saying um, it makes it a lot easier for you to uh, do things like inserting attachments, building a PowerPoint deck, or crafting social media posts. So um, this is just a quick a view of the gallery in the file picking dialog and then moving on to the next and this is becoming a very common site now when it comes to a feature that Microsoft is testing and has also rolled out to some extent to the stable version and this is part of the changes and improvements um, when it comes to the so-called notifications or ads as some are calling it uh, in the actual start menu. Now, Microsoft says with this latest dev build, they are continuing the exploration of badging on the start menu with several new treatments for users logging in with local user accounts to highlight the benefits of signing in with a Microsoft account. So, yeah, we can see um, if you have a local account, obviously now Microsoft using those different treatments to inform you or notify you regarding signing in with a Microsoft account. And as mentioned, a lot of people are just calling these ads and unnecessary bloatware, as I have been posting on. And uh, these are different treatments um, of badging on the start menu, highlighting the benefits, according to Microsoft, of signing in with a Microsoft account uh, if you are logged in with a local user account, as mentioned. So it seems that Microsoft very intent uh, to push this and start rolling this out to the Windows 11 operating system. Then moving on to the File Explorer, um, yeah, you can notice a what Microsoft is calling a pizza icon on the command bar in File Explorer. They carry on to say this icon uh, denotes that an insider is previewing the Windows App SDK version of File Explorer, as we can see from the screenshot provided. And um, functionality in File Explorer remains unchained. Unchanged, Microsoft says it's just switches from using WinUR2 to using WinUR3, and that's a new improvement uh, that's making its way to the File Explorer now being tested uh, in the Dev Channel. And um, then this next one actually was a feature that I posted on uh, in the Beta Channel last week and is now being tested in the Dev Channel. And um, it's regarding the set settings and presence sensing, as we can see. Uh, in the screenshot. Now, Microsoft say they are introducing new new presence sensor privacy settings and APIs. So if you have a device with a compatible with compatible presence sensors, you can now manage your privacy and block and or allow certain apps from accessing these sensors. So just take note, you need to have the compatible presence sensors for this to work if you are in the dev channel. Microsoft says from a privacy standpoint, no images or metadata is collected by them and all processing is done locally on the device hardware according to Microsoft and as you can see uh, you can find these settings under the settings 
privacy and security, presence sensing, and he has that toggle, which you can just toggle on, presence sensing access, which is now also being tested in the dev channel over and above the beta channel, as I did post on earlier this week. And uh, um, if we just head over to the actual uh, release notes, over and above those new features rolling out, we get the different fixes um, because it is quite common for uh, different issues to be prevalent uh, in the dev channel. So we have fixes for the taskbar and system tray settings, live captions, task manager accessibility. And then because it is still early days uh, in the dev channel with this preview build, we get the known issues. Yeah, we get known issues for search on the taskbar, file explorer. There are a couple of new known issues, as we can see, quite a couple actually for uh, the file explorer. Live captions has a new one new known issue, and that's more or less what is new, as mentioned for this week uh, with the latest preview build uh, for the Dev Channel Insiders build 23435, which was made available on the 14th of April. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.